so hello to all i am dr alkesh agarwal and in this lecture i'll mainly uh, discuss the design and the working of a pseudo random binary sequence generator so that is it's a sequence generator whose a sequence outputs are binary and random in nature so let us uh, discuss this kind of sequence generator so here are some reference books that include Digital Design by M. Morris Manu and M. D. Saleri and Modern Digital Electronics by R. P. Jain. So here you can see the design of a pseudo random sequence generator which comprises of uh, three flip flops, three D flip flops, D2, D1, D0. Whereas the output Q2 is connected to the input D1, the output Q1 is connected to the input D0 and you can see over here we have a exclusive OR gate with two inputs and one output one of the input is connected to the output Q0 and another input is connected to the output Q2 and the output exclusive output is connected to the input of the first flip-flop T2 so this is a simple design of a pseudo random sequence generator so here we'll see that a sequence of three bits at a time is being generated out of q2 q1 and q0 but that will be a random in nature for the first time and then the same sequence will be generated again and again so that is why it is being termed as pseudo random sequence generator so let us uh, see the functioning of this kind of a sequence generator so here you can see initially we started with a seed 100 that is q2 is 1 q0 is q1 is 1 and q sorry the initial seed is 100 so q2 is 1 q1 is 0 and q0 is 0 that is 100 now see what happens the output q2 which is 1 and output q0 which is 0 goes into the exclusive or gate and the exclusive exclusively odd output goes to d2 so before the input of the clock we have at d2 1 at d1 it is 1 why d1 1 because d1 is connected to q2 and q2 previous output is 1 so d1 is 1 and d0 is 0 why d0 is 0 because it is connected to q1 so before giving the clock to the register we have input condition 110 after giving the clock the same conditions uh, with output 110 we'll get output 110 so from 100 the next state is 110 so again you can see the exclusively odd output of 1 q2 is 1 and q0 is 0 will goes to input d1 the d2 so 10 exclusive or is 1 and this q2 q2 output will go to d1 and q1 output will go to d0 so now we have before giving the clock the input conditions are 111 after giving the clock the next state will be 111 so from 110 we have 11 and 1 so again the output q2 and q0 will be exclusively odd which is 0 it will go to d2 q2 will go to d1 and q1 will go to d0 so now we have input condition 011 and when the clock is activated these conditions with these input conditions we have output 011 so from 111 we have 011 again the exclusively odd values of 0 and 1 will which is 1 will go to d2 q2 will go to d1 and q1 will go to d0 so we have 101 before giving the clock after giving the clock the flip flop will sustain the value 101 so next state is 101 now the exclusively odd value of q2 and q0 11 which is 0 goes to d2 this q2 will go to d1 and this q1 will go to d0 so we have input condition 010 based on this input condition the flip flop will sustain the value 010 so the next state is 010 then the exclusively odd value of q2 and q0 00 which is 0 will go to d2 this q2 will go to d1 q1 will go to d0 so now we have input condition 001 after giving the clock the flip flop will sustain these inputs as 001 so next state is 001 again you can see 0 and 1 exclusively odd to have input at d2 is 1 
this q2 will go to d1 the q1 will go to d0 so input conditions are 100 and after the clock again the register will hold the values 100 so again we came back to 100 so we started with 100 then the state machine switch to 110 then to 111 011 101 010 001 back to 100 so you can see this is a pseudo random sequence generator here the sequence uh, for the first time they are unpredictable and then this whole cycle will repeat again and again so we have the term pseudo random sequence generator moreover the number of sequences are 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so we have three number of uh, flip flops so we have 2 power 3 minus 1 so 2 power 3 is 8 minus 1 7 so we have in all seven different sequences which are randomly generated by this pseudo random sequence generator thank you